What's going on, comic book brethren? It's Jimmy C. Labor Day uh, weekend. I got a wedding to go to tomorrow with the girlfriend. She's in uh, the bridal party, so we're staying local. Uh, pretty quick video. Only got about maybe 15, 10, 15 books to show. A couple of eBay purchases, uh, something from the flea market, and then, uh, you know, Joe Koch Part 2 Rendezvous. Um, I found, uh, my mother gave me uh, for. Uh, she threw it in my, um, for Christmas in, uh, what's it, the Christmas, uh, stocking stuffer. I was drawing a blank. So I said, let me be the backdrop. Like my bootleg graphics, uh, nice, uh, Spider-Man dish rag. I was gonna call it another type of rag, but the girlfriend reminded me it's a family show. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool background. Anyway, let's kick it off. So, um... Went to the Meadowlands Flea Market last week, just for an hour, really early. I was bored, nothing to do. For a dollar, Masters of the Universe number one, J. Scott Campbell cover. It kind of goes with uh, the Thundercats one I showed a while back, J. Scott Campbell cover. And then, hey, look what I found. Uh, Spider-Man 431, you know, the Carnage Silver Surfer. I looked for a dollar. Both of these were a dollar, so I'm like, oh, score. You know, it's like a 10 or $15 book online, maybe more. I looked feverishly for 430 but uh, to no avail. Anyway, so um, we had to go to the you know the pre-dinner party. So we were in North Jersey yesterday. That's how I know the girlfriend. She hates the comics, but you know she cares and she knows I like it because I went and I sat with all her friends and the family. You know we broke bread. I made them laugh. Uh, you know it's all her people's, but I'm there just you know being happy go lucky. And we're leaving and. I'm driving, so I'm not paying attention. And she goes, oh, there was a comic book store right there because it's an area we're not familiar with. I'm like, oh, really? So she's like, yeah. And like, if she, she could have not said anything, and I would have never knew. So we pulled in. They only have new stuff in this place. It's the Dragon's Den, it's called. It's in, like, uh, Saddle River, I think. Anyhow, like, they were playing uh, all their card games in the back. There's a lot of new... St it's only new comics, basically. They, they do a lot of role-playing games and cards and whatever... So anyway, I, I grabbed, uh, but they had some old, new stuff that, like, was, you know, not new, but, like, but no. Anyway, orange, or, uh, Origin number two, uh, I think the acetate cover, you know, it's the clear cover, and then this is the background. Uh, pretty cool for cover price, you know, it was like three, four dollars. And then, um, the one in 25 Forever Evil variant, number one, uh, they had the Wonder Woman, but it was a little dinged up. Batman was great. Uh, so I grabbed it, cover price. You could tell, like, the girl there is used to... She's, like, a cute girl at the register. So I go to pay, and she's like, uh, I need your name and your, you know, all your information. I says, it reminded me of, um... Oh, the comedian. I forget his name. Uh, get out the line! Get out the line! He just passed away a few months ago. Anyway, like, I want to pay you cash. Like, I don't want to give you my name, my number, or anything. She, like, wouldn't stop, so I just made up a name. I said, oh, Jimmy Russo. So, like, like, well, you know, I just want to buy these books. Like, I don't want to, you know, and she's a pretty girl, so she's used to, like, all these guys. You know, a lot of the guys who play the, you know, the card games are a little bit, like, not too savvy with the ladies. So, like, they all sweat her and everything, and I'm, like, just, like, barking at her and saying, stop bothering me. So, like, she was taken aback. And anyway, I'm off on a tangent. Sorry about that. But, hey, nice two comics for cover price. Okay, what's next? Um, you know what? Let's do the eBay purchases. Okay, eBay. Oh, I snagged this. Uh, I, I, I showed it before. I got one. It was all water damaged, but six dollars, uh, free shipping. Six seventy five, free shipping. One seventy nine. It's it's very fine. Plus, uh, maybe new mint nitus. You know what? Everyone loves Rocket Raccoon. First appearance of Pip the Troll. He could be the next. You know, little like you know, young kid friendly thing they market the shit out of. So, I just bought two of them. I got this one for 6 bucks from the guy, six seventy five, and I just bought another one from him. Uh, it went up to 11 bucks, but I said, you know what? I hedged my bet, so I got 17 bucks. I got two mint condition, 179s, first pips, same dealer, free shipping. How about it? So, okay, so this, you know what? I think it was Lightning who said it. I think it was Lightning or Omega, but like on eBay, there was a dealer... He had no reviews, but he had some sick books up. So I'm like, oh my god, you know, it's good because it's too good to be true. Like, they won't like attract everybody. So I got these three books to from him in a lot, and 
I got a good deal, but uh, you let me know. Let me know what. Uh, so I got Uncanny X Men one twenty nine. He said they were all in excellent, very uh, excellent, great condition. He's not like a comic book guy, but you know what that means. Excellent means excellent. Anyway, it's it. It's in. I would say it's a, a six. It's damaged up here. It's got tick, 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 ticks. But it's a solid copy. It's got a big dog, dog ear right here. You know, I would say it's about a $20 book. I got this from him, which actually was in excellent condition. $142. It's, it's, it's pretty perfect. I, I can't see anything wrong with it at all. Uh, you know, it's not super sharp right there. But look, you know, there's no color breaks or nothing. I would say this is an 8.5 easy or better so that and then last but not least a piece of resistance i'm sure some of you guys might have seen this and uh, boom i couldn't believe these three books were together and so there's ticks one two three four five six but other than that there's nothing when i was buying it bidding on ebay there was nothing and he said excellent condition and i'm like looking at it I'm like oh yeah it's good it's good it's good but then i got it the dreaded subscription crease. It's not super bad, but it's there. So, what would you guys do? Oh, all right. So, let me. Long story short, I paid two sixty four total for these three books. So, like, I think that's a pretty good deal any day. You know, this book alone, you know, it's a three hundred dollar book. I say this is like a fifty dollar book or better. And then the X Men, uh, the white first White Queen is about maybe a twenty dollar book in this condition. So, but you know what? He put them listed as excellent condition. So what would you guys do? Uh, would you just take it? You know, like, I mean, hey, it wasn't, it wasn't as described. You know, this is a big thing. Subscription crease is a huge, uh, you know, effect. That knocks, that knocks like two points off the book easy. So, uh, and plus, I forgot to tell you guys, you know, like I was watching the bidding and, I, you know, I go and look who's bidding. There was a guy who... He had like a phantom bidder because he had a guy with no transaction history or reviews who upbidded this shit about 75 bucks. It still went for a good price when I, I paid 265, 264. But still, a guy who never bidded before and only had bidded on his stuff, like, come on, you know. A man with no watch always knows what time it is. And I let him know that too when I wrote him. And oh, you know, I told this guy, please, bro, I don't know if you're a news seller, send these books. In, uh, car in, in, in cardboard, between, tape it down, send it protected. I'm just letting you know in case you don't know. So there's no stories. I want to be preemptive because I want these books and I'm happy with the purchase. He goes, okay, no problem. I've been selling before. It's a new name. What does he do? He sends it in a manila envelope. That's like, it's coated with the bubble wrap, you know, the manila with the cover wrap. And that's it. That's all he sent it in. It's, it's a friggin' uh, miracle of, of uh, nature. I should go play the lotto that... These books came intact and not all dinged up in the corners. Because that's all it was. A manila, bubble wrap protected envelope. No cardboard, no nothing. They were wrapped in, uh, you know, just like a thin piece of paper just holding them together and then in the envelope. I'm like, oh my god. So anyway, what would you guys do? Enough dragging on and repeating myself. Last but not least. Alright, you guys. I killed like eight birds with one stone today. You know, we have the wedding tomorrow, so we can't really go away. But the girlfriend wants to do something. Uh, my mother lives in Brooklyn. She's always, you know, bitching and moaning to come over and see my French Bulldogs. But, like, you know, we've been busy, and she started a new job. I just had, like, a moment. I had an epiphany. I'm like, wow, I can be the hero, and but yet subtly get everything I want and shut everyone up. So I said to Jenny, Jenny, how about we go to the beach? You know, it's the end of the summer. We really didn't go to the beach yet. Uh, you know, like, we're in Jersey, but to go to the Jersey Shore is a pain. It's just far. Like, it's easier to actually go to, like, uh, Rockaway or Brighton Beach, which is in Queens and Brooklyn. And she knows I like going there better because it's faster and it's easier. So I said, all right, let's go to, let's go to uh, Reese Park in Queens because it, it's on the way to my mother's house. I said, Jenny, you know what? We got the wedding tomorrow. Why don't we bring the dogs and that way we don't have to rush home today and we could drop the dogs by my mother. And she's happy because my mother's obsessed with the dogs. So we give my oh, so we go we surprise my mother with the dogs nine in the morning. I give them the dogs to my mother. We're free for like four days because she'll bring them back in a few days. 
My mother's happy. Boom. I take Jenny to the beach. I said, Jenny, you know what? It's like, because there was a lot of traffic to get to this specific beach, and you got to pay tolls and parking and everything. I said, Jenny, let's go to the, let's go to Brighton Beach. It's in Brooklyn. You just got to look for parking in the street. It's a little pain in the ass. It's a Russian area. You know, they never move their cars. But I said, Jenny, let's go there. You know, I'll save 20 bucks parking and tolls and everything. And she goes, okay, whatever. So we go to the beach for two hours. I take her to eat some lunch, a nice seafood spot in Sheepshead Bay. I said, Jenny, you know what? You know, we're in Brooklyn. Uh, you know, we're pretty close to Joe Koch's after I just fed her, mind you. I said, you mind if I give him a call, see if they'll uh, let me up there? So, so she couldn't say no. I had her trapped. Checkmate, checkmate, girlfriend. So I wound up going there for an hour while she was in the car. She had AC and she had her friggin' Game Boy DS, 3DS that I bought her. So anyway, this is what I got at Joe Koch. Sorry for the preamble, but I thought it was great. So my, uh, what did I get? Tell me about these books, guys. I don't know if these are worth anything, but I snagged them for a dollar each. We got uh, x Man number... Number one. It says, The Age of Apocalypse Begins Now. I got number... Number two, and then I got number three, and then we got number four. You know, I've been seeing you guys putting Age of Apocalypse books is, books up, but like I was never really interested in the newer stuff, so I, I usually tune out. But are these the books? Or there's so many of them. Anyway, I got them for a dollar each. I grabbed uh, Alpha Flight. Uh, you know, I guess it's the first Talisman. It says introducing Talisman. I grabbed the. Uh, First Malekith, store three forty dollar each. Actually, I got one for free because one of them was double double. Be, uh, one of them was on each side, so I thought I only had five books, so he charged me five bucks. Okay, so last but not least, these are the two big books I got from him. I really didn't want this book, and he kind of talked me into it. Um, I got a bundle deal. I got Tales of Asgard. Number one, very, very good copy, as he's written on there, fine, very fine, I agree with him. He wanted 35 bucks for it, and like, I really didn't want it anyway, and I'm like, oh, 35, no way. And then I also got uh, this from him, I got another one, you know I got this last week from him, but this was another really good copy he had, uh, like, well, not great copy, but overall it's nice, you know, it's a little messed up over here, but hey, you know what, it's a key issue, and it's, it's old, this, you know, this is a 40 year old book. So anyway, he wanted 30 for this, and he wanted 35 for that. What I really wanted, he had a commandy number one, about a 6.57, and like, I was willing to spend up to 20 bucks for that book, because I watch eBay and what they go for. Commandy goes for $15, $20 on any day, and this was the guy who, like, I told you was bipolar. The first time I had an argument with him, and then when I came back... He was there, and, like, like nothing happened, and he was like, hey, how are you? So, like, he was good today, too. He was great. So, he went and did his thing, and it took him ten minutes to look up the books, but I knew now, don't follow him in the office. I learned my lesson, my second rodeo, well, third. So, he came back with 30, 30 bucks for this, 35 for this, and Commandy, $80. I said, are you smoking hashish, my friend? I said, are you crazy? I said, oh, like, I didn't even bother haggling. There's no way, because 80, 80 bucks was way too off. So I told him, bro, I'll take these two books. I said, tell you, I just wanted this for 25 I said, oh, they told me 25 last week. He's like, oh, what about this? It's a good book. I said, all right. I said, you know what? You want 65 for both? I'll take both for 50 And he said, all right, this is your one get-out-of-jail-free discount day. I said, I didn't even know I had one, so I'll take it. But... You know, like, I don't know. 50 bucks for these two books together? What do you guys think? I'm sorry, I'm asking a lot of you. I want I want feedback on the, X, on the X-Men 94 and this. I think I'm going to throw these up on eBay, because I got this already. Uh, so if any of you guys want these books, you want to do a trade, um, I'm open to it. Otherwise, I'm going to throw them on eBay, I think. This is a, it's, it's in really nice condition, and this is a key issue. It's got its faults, but overall, it's pretty good condition. And not for nothing, he has four more copies of this that are in way uh, about you know, good pluses. If anyone really wants this book, let me know, and I'll mosey on over there sometime in the next couple of weeks. But uh, I guess that's it, man. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed my quick little story. I try to keep it short and sweet. Happy Labor Day, folks. And I'm going to try to do one or two uh, contests this week before they expire. That's it. Jimmy C. signing off. Happy Labor Day.